Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. The video that you are watching was live streamed by Elon Musk on Friday evening. And what it is, is Elon in a Tesla showing off their new full self-driving mode. Now, what makes this version of full self-driving or FSD different than some previous iterations of this software powering the Tesla is that unlike previous models that use specific software with specific logic embedded in code to tell the car what to do in specific situations, this version is powered by artificial intelligence. It has been fed, in other words, a huge, huge amount of video data about good driving so that it learns what good driving is and can make better decisions in the moment. People who are paying attention closely say that this is an absolutely huge moment and represents a sea change, and so that's what we're going to explore today. Now, to get a sense of that big, bolsterous opinion, Robert Scoble wrote, Our world changed tonight. In 10 years, we will look back at the first public demo of a robot that learned to move around the world by watching only videos. This is a paradigm shift in how software is built. At one point, Elon Musk took over because the AI made a mistake. He said the fix is to feed it more videos. Multimodal AIs are here at full scale. This speeds up the humanoid robot for me. Imagine you showing your robot how to make grandma's recipe. And from then on, it can make it every night if you want. Cameras just had a paradigm shift. Now, there are a couple things going on here. One is an assessment of this demo's place in history, but let's leave that one aside for the moment. That is inherently an unknowable thing. And I think if one wanted to quibble with that, it might distract from the broader point, which I think is pretty unarguable. And that's Scoble's point that this is a paradigm shift in how software is built. Effectively, what Scoble is saying is that instead of a world where software is pre-programmed with logic from humans, we're increasingly seeing software that's designed to learn from inputs and make decisions for itself based on that learning. Farzad Mizbahi actually had a really good post on this in more detail. He writes... This is how Tesla's FSD V12 learns. As humans with driver's licenses, we know what to do at an intersection. We've been taught that a red sign with the word stop means that once we arrive at the sign, we need to stop and check for cross traffic. We've also been taught that the white lines on either side of the car are barriers that tell us where the car should be as we approach the perpendicular line. We've also learned about crosswalks, right-of-way rules, speed bumps, rain, snow, cyclists, not to smash into oncoming traffic, navigating through crap or missing lane markings, etc., some of this we've learned by reading a book and then practicing said things on the road, and other things we've learned by driving around and experiencing the environments on our own. With Tesla's latest V12 FSD update, Tesla's vehicles learn in a similar way, but it's actually much broader than you think. Tesla isn't telling the AI that trains the FSD system what a stop sign is. It isn't telling it what white lines are, what pedestrian sidewalks are, what other cars look like, what red brake lights mean, etc. Instead, as for this intersection example, Tesla is feeding the AI a ton of video depicting what proper driving looks like at a stop sign, with drivers coming to a stop while slowing down at a reasonable speed while centered between the lines. With this footage, the AI says to itself, Okay, one thing I'm noticing is that every time the car comes to a stop, the surrounding areas have these stop sign things on either side every single time, and the car is always centered between white lines on the road when it approaches these signs. The AI then writes code for the car to behave correctly at every stop sign it encounters. This is how Tesla's system learns. This means that for Tesla to reach self-driving under any condition, it needs to collect all driving conditions that a human encounters with many examples of each. It needs to see stop signs that are just on one side, stop signs that are partially covered by a tree, stop signs that have been vandalized, etc., etc., etc. Luckily, Tesla is able to do this because it has a fleet of 4 million cars driving around the world today, and this fleet is growing exponentially. This means that every condition a Tesla finds itself in, the footage can be used by the AI system to learn the proper behavior based on how Tesla drivers navigate that scenario. This means that the Tesla Elon Musk was driving on FSD V12 learned from all other Tesla drivers in the world driving their own cars. With this data, the AI system was able to generate commands for the steering wheel, accelerator, and pedal to navigate around its own environment as good as a human could, and possibly significantly better than a human as Tesla collects and processes more data. Imagine having a car with this AI system that never gets tired, never makes a mistake, is always paying attention, is constantly monitoring every angle around the car. This is what Tesla has achieved with V12. As we finish out the decade, Tesla has plans to reach an annual goal of 20 million cars sold per year by 2030. All of these cars will be outfitted with the camera systems used to collect the data that the AI system used to train itself. Tesla is also investing billions of dollars in training compute to dramatically increase how much data the AI can process at once, which will allow the company to make improvements quicker and be able to process every conceivable scenario that a driver could face on the road. If Tesla AI successfully learns how to drive under any condition, this will mark one of the greatest technological achievements of our time. The age of the self-driving car is finally here. 
Now, interestingly, if you go in and see what Elon has been replying to after his demo, he responded to Scoble and talked about the need for inference compute power. Inference in this case being the ability to make decisions quickly. He writes, What is also mind-blowing is that the inference compute power needed for eight cameras running at 36 frames per second is only about 100 watts on a Tesla-designed AI computer. This puny amount of power is enough to achieve superhuman driving. It makes a big difference that we run inference at int 8, which is far more power efficient than FP16. This requires us to do very difficult quantization-aware training at FP16 in order to infer at the lower resolution of int 8. But think about that for a minute. Int 8 only gives you a numerical range from 0 to 255, and yet the car can still understand the immense complexity of reality well enough to drive. Same caveats here. Reaching superhuman driving with AI requires billions of dollars per year of training compute and data storage, as well as a vast number of miles driven. Tesla also has over 4 million cars on the road, capable of training the AI. In a few years, we will have roughly 10 million. AI Authority responds, Tesla is really just an AI training software company, huh? Now, this makes comments from Kathy Wood back in May make a little more sense to perhaps the skeptic who heard them at the time. Back on May 12th, The Observer wrote an article, Kathy Woods dubs Tesla's controversial FSD tech as, quote, most impactful AI project. Now, Kathy Wood is, of course, probably the longest duration Tesla bull outside of Elon Musk himself. And in the beginning of May, Wood and her ARK Invest predicted that by 2027, Tesla's stock price could be about 11 times higher than its current level. The piece writes, Wood believes Tesla is close to achieving true autonomous driving because of its unique underlying technology. Most driver assistance systems on the market guide a vehicle's movement by pre-mapping an area using a LiDAR, a radar using light instead of radio waves, but Tesla's system relies on cameras that capture a real-time view around a vehicle. An algorithm then processes these video streams in order to guide motion. Said Wood of Elon Musk, he is almost there. I think it's the most impactful AI project out there. Now, there are a few things that make this such an interesting story to me. The first is this idea expressed by many that this is a seminal or inflection point moment. Boris here, for example, called it the GPT-4 moment for self-driving and real-world robotics. I think obviously there is an incentive for people, and particularly media, to hype up moments as moments where everything changes, and so those designations are always worthy of skepticism, but it's still interesting to see when people think they happen. Now, obviously, the implications for self-driving itself are pretty immense. Self-driving cars are one of those questions and debates as a society that we've only had partially or in fragments, because frankly, we just haven't had to yet. The technology hasn't quite been at the place where we need to really deal with the full complexity of good and bad, or not even good and bad, but just change that they represent. It appears to me now that that conversation is a lot closer than maybe some people thought. And in that way, it shows that artificial intelligence applied in almost any domain is going to raise big questions. Questions of trust, questions of humanity, questions of loss of control. Obviously, Tesla's self-driving AI is very different than the LLMs that power ChatGPT. But in either case, whether it's writers in Hollywood worried about being replaced or reduced by script writing AIs like ChatGPT, or truck drivers worrying about being replaced and reduced by self-driving trucks, there is a shared tapestry of societal level questions that are being generated by basically every instance of this technology. I also think Scoble's point about the paradigm shift in how software is built is a really salient one. One of the things that people have noted in Silicon Valley is that one of the outcomes of the rise of ChatGPT is a huge shift in where founders are applying their attention. Paul Graham from Y Combinator recently posted that the founders they're seeing are more technical in general and radically more likely to be focused on AI than they were just a year ago. The mental model of designing software to learn from inputs, to be trained and then make decisions for itself, could have really fascinating implications for the next generation of things that get built, whether or not we view them as quote-unquote AI startups at all. In fact, in some ways, this full self-driving demo might be seen as evidence of the AIification of everything, that this is, as some have suggested, a fundamental shift in the computing paradigm. So when all is said and done, I don't know how history will look back at that demo, but I don't think that people are crazy to identify it as a fairly significant moment. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Is this going to change how software is built? Is it already changing how software is built? How significant is Tesla's full self-driving in the history and lineage of this technology coming to consumer society? If you want to get deeper into the discussion, come join us on the AI Breakdown Discord. You can go to bit.ly slash AI Breakdown, or you can always just leave a comment here on YouTube. Or if you're listening on the podcast, I think you can go leave a comment on Spotify as well. In any case, I appreciate you guys listening or watching as always. And until next time, peace.